180. Uh, back behind me is Roan Mountain. I climbed over top of that from the other side this morning. Then I got to the top. It's above 6,000 feet, so it's one of the highest elevations on the AT. The highest shelter on the whole trail is up there. But I got to the top and all there is is a parking lot and no views actually. So that was kind of disappointing. But this is a nice spot here. I'm going to keep cranking along, but it's a good day. Good day so far. It's the morning of May 1st. I'm at approximately mile 413 ish. And I'm walking through an area where there was recently a forest fire. Now, I'm not sure if this was one of the intentional control burns by the fire crews or what. I'm not sure how it started or how recent it was. But it's definitely a factor out here. I missed a section uh, just north of Hot Springs last week, week or so ago. But fires can start by themselves, or they could be controlled burns, or there could just be careless campers, hikers that leave a fire unattended or something. You always want to clear a good 15 foot radius, 20 foot of leaves from around the fire pit before you start a fire. Don't start a fire somewhere where there's not already a pit. And if there's not adequate rocks around the fire pit, go ahead and just add a few more on there. Well, I'm crossing the Watauga Lake Dam right now. I've done about 18 miles today. I'm hurting a little bit. My my right leg is acting up. I've got some shin splints going on. I was thinking when I got to the lake, because I'm on the opposite side now, when I got to the lake, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to hit the goal today. But... Then I thought, hey, I'll just stop at the next shelter. And the Watauga Lake shelter is actually closed right now because of bear activity. So there was a note back there that said, listen to the signs, don't stay at the shelter. Apparently someone's tent got ripped up and their food was stolen. So that shelter's a no-go. So I've got six more miles until Van Deventer shelter. Got some hiker friends there waiting on me. So, I'm gonna get there. Nice views today. I'm walking into town with 
no food. Well, right now I've got a Snickers bar and a protein bar. And best case scenario, weight-wise, for what you're carrying, it's perfect to walk into town with no food, granted that you're not walking into town starving. But what I wanted to share with you was it's perfectly okay to walk into town with a day's worth of food with you still. Because food out here equals options.